12 stages down, just four to go in a thrilling Rally Chili B.O. B.O. Hyundai's Esapekalapi suffered big damage to his I-20 on the rally's penultimate test. There you go. The back of the car just got away from him. He's buried the slot to try and correct it, and it's just it's just hooked up and sent him into the bank. Yeah, there was was uh, rats here and there, and yeah, once I do the entry, aggressive entry, then there was a rat with which pulled me in a little bit too much, and there was a gravel bank and immediately bumper off. The damage later forcing the Finn to retire. There was drama from the off for M Sports Martins Sesks. The Latvian spun on the opening stage, a stall compounding his frustrations. Yeah, you can just see how slippy it is because he's he spun, but it looked like the back end was moving way out then. The M Sport 4 driver later losing his rear wing as he crossed through the flying finish. Oh, spoiler just come off. Spoiler just failed. I tell you what, now he's lucky that that's let go there. Martins, that should have been a lively run through there with no rear wing. What happened? What? That's why we were now braking and it, I didn't even know. I don't know what happened. Totally gone. Really? He wasn't alone in pushing the limits. Teammate Adrian Formeau going for a spin in worsening conditions. That's, that is a carbon copy of, well, in, it's certainly in exactly the same place as Essa Pekalapi's. Down but not out, in his quest for a ninth world title, Sebastian Auger dominated the morning loop, using the wealth of experience to push for maximum Sunday points. His teammate and overall rally leader Calais Rovenpera was the Frenchman's closest challenger for the Super Sunday bonus points. The Finn kept his cool despite starting from a tricky row position, ensuring he and Jonne Holtenen entered the final stage with a healthy advantage. Yeah, it was uh, quite a uh, changeable condition to be honest. Already some soft, uh, soft ruts here and there and then some really, really slimy muddy corners. So a bit everything. Also, again, a bit of fog for us at least. So everything what, uh, what you could imagine. Auger set the early benchmark for those behind and despite his sub-optimal road position, the Frenchman's fastest time remained safe until Robin Pera hit the stage. It's going to be so close! He's, oh, oh, he's lost it by one tenth of a second! We were getting this excited just about the Wolf Power Stage points, but don't forget, that is the victory! It's a 15th career win for Cali Robin Perra. The win actually feels quite good. It was not so easy one. Friday I didn't feel so good and the whole week and the, the conditions, the weather, everything was difficult, so we needed to fight for it, so it feels really good. So, Kala Rovenpera takes his fourth win of a part-time season ahead of Toyota teammate Elvin Evans. Oit Tanak back on the podium in third ahead of championship leader Thierry Neville. Fifth for Formo with Sami Piari and Gregoire Munster just behind. A win for Johan Roussel sees the Frenchman keep the pressure on in the battle for WRC2 title glory. Thierry Neville still leads the championship and now has one hand on the trophy, holding a 29-point lead heading to the penultimate cross-border round in Central Europe.